I am Politol from Politolica, and I'm going to show you tonight that um, the Wishboard world for the Ma uh, works for the Mac. Uh, first of all, some website, I'll go cool stuff, lots of games, stuff, some Mega M6 games, but especially Windows games. And I'm going to focus at the moment on a specific game, the Wishboard world for the Mac. You can go on uh, the game page in several ways, using the here button from the blog, or the game ports, Mac games link here, or the Mac game ports up here. You can then you can go to adventures because it's an adventure game. Adventures, I said here. And then the whispered, the whispered world. Well, if you don't own the game yet, you can get it from uh, GOG.com. It's also on sale for Gamers Kid. But um, this one is the run free, so works out of the box. You can get it from uh, GOG.com using the link up here. Um, just create an account and then you can purchase the game uh, and then you can uh, download it. Download three those three Windows installer files. And then of course you still need the wrapper, which you can get uh, from the game page up here. Click on the here button. Whisper World, save. And then um, you can use uh, the wrapper. Double click disk image file which you've downloaded from my game page. Then move it to the desktop like this, just drop it up here. And then after uh, dropping it here, you can just double click it. Click on install Windows software, choose executable. Navigate to that, uh, well, the three files you have downloaded from, uh, from GUG.com. Double click it. Then you can wait a few seconds, you click yes, install. Eh, won't well, take a few seconds, so I'll be right back. So, installation is completed now. Just click exit. Don't click launch immediately, because most people do, they are really eager to play it. Don't do it, just simple uh, click on uh, exit and then you select the Whispered World TWW.exe. Click OK, click quit, and then you will be able to play the game. Just double click it, and the game will start. <clears throat> it may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know, you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end, but I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. Yeah, skip. All right. Oh, what a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. Well, this is a different, well, a uh, specific kind of um, of gameplay because I was thought was uh, I was clicking here. And say, hey, why is nothing happening here? But you need to hold the butt like here, and then you can choose. You see what I mean? So um, yeah, but uh, when you know that, well, it's uh, something easy. Well, you have to look at it. Hmm. What was that note again? Ah, yes. 
I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannonball act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. Uh, whatever. Hmm, that's the stuff I need to take. Oh. There's only that stupid note in there. Ben made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. Oh. Ah, what the heck. I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. <laughs> well, they can open the door. Sadwick! You awake? Come here at once. The day's already wasting away. Ah. <sighs> Right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick. The plague. Or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Come on. Let's go, Spot. We'll get you something. And after that... Yep. All right, Spot. Time to have a drink. There you go. Keep your hands off the laundry. You'll only soil them again. Bruno! Don't mess with Bruno, unlike you. He's already done his work for today. Grandpa looks even older than usual today. This chair's rocking days are long over. Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. <laughs> they don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big, firm bubbles. Sadwick, your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know that poor animal, but that's the way people liked their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> what was it? I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? 
That's such nonsense. Dreams are not tenpenny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. <laughs> now that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Well, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. All See right. you later. All right. No. Looks awesome. So, thank you for watching. I hope to see you back on Bolton the Car. If you love the work I do, you can always donate on my website and become a premium member and support my hard work. And yeah, uh, spread the word and see you back on Bolton the Car. Bye bye.